Hello stampers, my name is Kim Jolly and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Springfield, Missouri. For today's card we're going to be using um, several things. We're going to be using the new Painted Harvest set from the 2017 Stampin' Up! Holiday Catalog. I have to tell you I cannot hardly put this set down. There are so many great images in it and so many different ways to use them. Um, it is definitely a must-have for your stamping collection. I also have a piece of Whisper White cardstock. This measures four inches by five and a quarter. The images I'll be using today are the three flower images or the parts that make the flower from this set. I'm also going to be using Tuxedo Black Memento Ink, Pumpkin Pie Classic Ink from Stampin' Up, a Versamark pad, clear embossing powder, You'll need a Stampin' Buddy to remove static from the paper before we emboss. A couple of scraping tools, some ordinary shaving cream, and uh, oh, your heat tool. Without further ado, let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is take the smaller of the petal images from the stamp set and I'm going to stamp it with pumpkin pie ink. As you can see, this is rather stained. All of these are. I've used them quite a bit. Uh, keep in mind that photopolymer stamps do tend to stain, but I don't see that as a problem. These are just tools. Even when they're stained, they still stamp beautifully with other, other colors of ink. I'm going to stamp this one right in the center. As close to the center as I can. I'm going to make sure that's dry. It was probably fine. That dries pretty quick, actually. The next thing I'm going to do is pat this down with the anti-static tool, or embossing buddy, as it's called. Now, I want to emboss the center of that flower. To do that, I'm going to ink up the center with Versamark. And then I'm going to ink up with the Tuxedo Black Memento Pad. This will help give this something, uh, the embossing powder, something to adhere to. As the regular dye inks dry so quick, it's hard to emboss them without adding in some Versamark. Using your heat tool, go ahead and emboss that. Just watch it. It will start to become shiny and then you'll know just about when you're done. Let that cool for a minute. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead Rub this one more time with this embossing buddy. Now I'm going to get out the larger stamp. I'm going to actually going to stamp it with pumpkin pie also. But first, I'm going to ink it up with the Versamark. Then ink it up with pumpkin pie. And then just position it on top of what I've already done. Now I'm going to put clear embossing powder on it because basically what we're doing today is a bit of a resist. In other words, the embossed area will not uh, retain the ink color that we're going to put on top of it.
So most of this flower is now covered with embossing powder. Um, I know possibly a few of the small leaves or petals are peeking out that aren't covered, but it's it's all good. It will work. Now I'm going to turn the camera off for a minute and I'm going to go ahead and emboss the other flowers. You've seen me do one, so I don't think you need to see me do the other two. And then we'll get to how I created the background. Okay, I'm back. Um, as you can see, I have stamped and embossed the images a total of three times. Remember, the first time you stamp, you're not going to emboss that one. You're just going to stamp it with the pumpkin pie ink. Then you are going to use the smaller center of the flower, which I seem to have misplaced. Here we go. The smaller center of the flower, you're going to ink it up with Versamark first and then Memento Black ink, stamp it and emboss it with clear powder. Then you're going to ink up the larger flower with Versamark ink, then the pumpkin pie ink, and emboss it with clear powder. So that's what we've got right now. So these are smooth, um, and this will act as a resist when we apply the color here in a few minutes. Okay, I have basic shaving cream right here. If you have never seen my other video on how to use shaving cream, I will link it in the comments below, but it is called Not Your Mother's Shaving Cream Technique, and this is a way to apply color to all different kinds of paper, uh, less, a less messy way than prior, and it gives a pretty interesting effect. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to take one of our clear blocks, and I'm going to put it directly on the memento pad until I've got it covered with ink. Then I'm going to take just an old credit card, piece of a credit card, and I'm going to get a little bit of shaving cream in here, and I'm going to kind of stir it around a little bit. You're basically using the shaving cream as a suspension to hold the ink color. And then I'm just going to start up here and apply it. This is just a paint scraping tool. I'm just going to wipe that off on a paper towel. As you can see, the color gets down to all the nooks and crannies that are not embossed and gives a very cool, almost Van Gogh look. Now I'm going to do this one more time with black. By the way, in order to do this with black ink, it needs to be a water-based ink, so the archival inks are not going to work quite as well for this, mainly because they're permanent, and I I think they're going to dry quick, plus it will stain your block. I Honestly, I haven't tried it, but I just know permanent inks. You need something that's going to move almost like watercolor, so I'm using dye-based inks. So I'm just going to get this in some areas that don't have black. Scrape it off. Now it is time for pumpkin pie. I'm going to clean this off here. Clean this off. Okay, I'm just going to take the smaller block. Basically, I just want smaller amounts of color. That's why I'm using the smaller block. I've inked it up. Get a little dab of the shaving cream on here. Start applying it where there's some white left. Do it again. 
I'm cleaning this block off in between, in between reapplying it. I just kind of rub it until there's not much left. There's almost not enough on this block to even give you anything to scrape off. You can even use what you have on here to color. I'll do one more time here. By the way, I had not filmed one of these videos in a while, and I feel a bit rusty, so if you hear me say, um, a lot, or hear me repeating my words, that's why I get a little bit camera shy, even though my face isn't on camera. That will dry flat. So there you go. That's how you get the painterly look on here. I love the way the black sinks into all those little crevices. You will, or you have probably already seen the finished card in the previews to this video. But there you go. And this has a lot of different ways you could do it. You could do it with a lot of different colorations. I'm thinking maybe I'm going to try a navy and crumb cake. I think that would be really nice. Um, just a lot, all kinds of options. If you have any questions about this or any of the products used, just shoot me an email or comment in the section below and I will put a link to the blog post regarding this with all of the items you need. With the exception, of course, of the shaving cream, you can buy that at your local store. Thank you so much and I hope you have enjoyed this video.